Good morning. It's Friday the 14th of May. As I mentioned briefly in my last reflection, I wanted to update you today on the virtual pilgrimage. I'm delighted to say that after walking 481 miles, we've now arrived at Santiago de Compostela. On Sunday the 2nd of May, Alice, Sally and I met in Malham and walked to Pike Door. It certainly was a strenuous last five miles, but thankfully the weather had dried up in time and the views were amazing. We were also treated to a delicious Tartar de Santiago made by Alice. I'd certainly recommend this as a sweet treat, even without the walking. We've also received our final postcard, certificate and medal. And in completing the walk, the company through which we've done this challenge has planted five real trees for our effort. We've now reached and exceeded our target of £1,000, which is wonderful. Thank you to everyone that's contributed. The various ways of giving are still open if you still wish to give. You can send directly to the circuit office, via the Skipton and Grassington Methodist website, or via the Just Giving page, whose details are shown below this reflection. So a little about the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela. It has a mixed Romanesque, Gothic and Baroque structure. Building began in 1075 and took 136 years to complete. It's 100 metres long, that's 330 feet, 70 metres wide, 230 feet, and 75 metres high, 246 feet, with a seating capacity of 1,200 people, presumably without any social distancing. The cathedral was built atop of one of Jesus' disciples' tombs, St James the Great. Relics of St James were discovered in 1879, and once authenticated, they were buried in the crypt beneath the altar, alongside two of his disciples, St Theodorus and St Athanasius. Whilst our destination, albeit virtual, is really interesting, historically, architecturally and spiritually, what has been important for us has been the journey. We've walked alone and together, some days easier than others. It reminds me of a verse in the hymn, Brother, Sister, Let Me Serve You. It says, We are pilgrims on a journey and companions on the road. We are here to help each other, walk the mile and bear the load. We are all pilgrims, all journeying to our final home, eternity with Christ. As we journey, may we always seek to help each other, bearing the load and offering companionship. Let us pray. Lord, help us to remember that you always journey with us. May we also be aware of those that journey with us, some for a short time, others longer. May we value their company and share in all the challenges and joys. Amen.